Welcome to Dishonored, the Knife of Dunwall DLC. I played the base game years and years ago to the point where I don't even remember the plot, but uh, I figured it'd be a good time to get back into it and play all of the DLC, which I never played before. We're going to be starting with the Knife of Dunwall DLC for the base game, then moving on to the Brigamore Witches, and then we'll be moving on to Dishonored 2. We're going to skip Dunwall City Trials because it's a trials challenge kind of thing. There's no story there at all. Before I start the DLC, I want to read a plot summary of the original game because I've forgotten most of it and perhaps you have too. So hopefully you'll find this helpful. I'll have a timestamp on the screen right now where you can go to to skip this explanation if you're not interested. But uh, yeah, here's a plot summary from Wikipedia for Dishonored. After returning from a foreign voyage to seek aid with the deadly plague ravaging the city, Corvo Atano travels to the Tower of Dunwall and meets with the Empress. After delivering a message, they are attacked by teleporting assassins led by Dodd. They magically restrain Corvo, kill the Empress, and kidnap her daughter, Emily. The Empress's spymaster arrives and has Car uh, Corvo imprisoned for her murder and Emily's abduction. Six months later, the spymaster has seized control of Dunwall as Lord Regent. Interrogating Corvo, the Lord Regent confesses that he masterminded the assassination and framed Corvo. The following day, Corvo is due to be executed. In his cell, a letter from Empire Loyalists is smuggled to Corvo and he's given the means to escape. After escaping, Samuel ferries Corvo to the Hound Pits pub to meet the Loyalists, led by Admiral Havelock. While resting at the pub, Corvo is taken to a dream world where he meets the Outsider, who brands Corvo with his mark. Corvo is sent by the Loyalists to eliminate the conspirators behind the Lord Regent's plot, and the player is given the option to kill or otherwise neutralize Corvo's targets, the first of which is High Overseer Campbell. During the mission, Corvo meets Granny Rags and Slackjaw. Corvo removes the High Overseer and discovers that Emily is being held in a brothel called the Golden Cat under the supervision of twins uh, Custis and Morgan Pendleton. Corvo rescues Emily and eliminates the brothers. After returning to the pub, Emily is taken into the care of Callista to prepare her for becoming Empress, while Corvo is sent to abduct the genius scientist Sokolov, who's responsible for the Lord Regent's powerful technologies. Sokolov is taken to the pub for interrogation, under which he divulges the identity of the Lord Regent's financer, Lady Boyle. Corvo infiltrates Boyle's masquerade ball, deduces which of the three sisters is the Lord Regent's mistress, and disposes of her. After returning to the pub, Havelock confirms that they have done enough damage to move on to the Lord Regent. Corvo infiltrates the Tower of Dunwall and removes the Lord Regent from power and, in the process, learns that the Lord Regent intentionally imported the plague to decimate the lower classes of society, though things quickly got out of hand. Corvo returns to the Hound Pits pub, where the Loyalists celebrate their success. After sharing a drink, Corvo goes to his room and collapses. Upon waking, he learns that Samuel poisoned his drink at the behest of Havelock and his Loyalist allies Trevor Pendleton and Teague Martin to prevent him from interfering in their plan to install Emily as Empress and rule through her. Samuel remained loyal to Corvo and had given him a non-lethal dose of poison. Samuel sets Corvo adrift on the river and flees. When Corvo wakes, he is taken prisoner by the assassin Dodd and his men, who kill the Empress and intend to claim the bounty placed on Corvo's head by the now Lord Regent Havelock. Corvo defeats Dowd, or Dodd, Dowd, I think it's Dowd, and his assassins before traveling through Dowd's territory and into the sewers where he finds Granny Rags attempting to cook Slackjaw. Corvo can eliminate either Slackjaw or Granny Rags, who is revealed to be a witch called Vera Moray. Corvo returns to the pub to find it overrun with guards and that Havelock has killed many of the Loyalists. He discovers where Havelock has taken Emily and can save Piero, Sokolov, and Kalista. Corvo signals to Samuel, who ferries him to the former Lord Regent's lighthouse. He infiltrates the lighthouse and either subdues Pendleton and Martin, or finds that Havelock has already killed them, ensuring the Loyalists' actions are never known. Once finished with Havelock, Corvo may or may not rescue Emily. Havelock's journal reveals that the Lord Regent suspects that Emily is Corvo's daughter. The ending varies depending on the level of chaos the player has caused throughout the game. If Corvo saves Emily, she ascends the throne as Empress with Corvo at her side. If only a small amount of chaos has been caused, 
A golden age dawns and the plague is finally overcome. After many decades, Corvo dies of natural causes, and Empress Emily Caldwin, the wise, buries him beside Empress Jessamine. If much chaos is caused, the city remains in turmoil and is overrun with the plague. If Corvo fails to save Emily, Dunwall crumbles and Corvo flees the city by ship. So I think I did a low chaos run, meaning I didn't kill a lot of people in my original playthrough, so I'm pretty sure I got the end where a golden age dawned. So, the Knife of Dunwall. I've played for maybe 15 minutes, because it's a pretty complex game and I wanted to get back in the mindset of how to actually play it, because usually with DLCs they assume you've already, like, are an expert in the original game. And I was when I played it, but not now, years later. So I'm a little bit familiar with how stuff works now. But of course, let's not continue the game, let's start a new game. There's three difficulties that we can do right off the bat. Novice, Veteran, and Elite. Novice seems to be the normal difficulty, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go with the Veteran. It says, a moderately challenging experience. Enemies inflict more damage and have keener perceptions. Yeah, I'm also going to try to not save scum. I'm going to try to not abuse saves. In fact, I'm going to try to basically not rely on saves at all. I'm going to try to live with my consequences as much as possible. We'll see how that actually goes. I might change my mind later, but I figure it'll make things feel like they're, they're more risky and more tense and more satisfying when they work if I know that I can't just reload my game if things didn't quite go to plan. shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserve to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. Visit from the Outsider. The one who gives us all these abilities like Blink. You killed her, you killed her, you killed her, you killed her. Alright, oh, it's gonna have the tutorial prompts, I'll just skip most of them. So we have the blink ability, basically teleport. Also something super cool that I don't remember whether it was a thing or not in the original game is that time stops when you're trying to decide where to go with your blink. So for example, if I just jump off and then boop, time has stopped. Where do I want to go? Let's go back where I came from. It's really cool. Yeah, I kind of messed that one up. Dowd, my old friend. It's been a long while. 
but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, Things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. As Dowd, you can use your network of spies and corrupt merchants to purchase equipment and upgrades before each mission. You can also pay for special favors. These favors can have a variety of effects in the mission, such as granting access to equipment caches or revealing secret information. So I figure I should buy all of this information it's pretty cheap we start out with 2000 coins it's stuff like a safe code a guard overheard the code to the safe in the shipping office and will etch it on the wall like whatever we find in the safe must be worth more than we're paying for the tip P probably <laughs> so heck yeah the stolen rune a bribed laborer will misplace a rune he found in a crate full of old scrimshaw bound for the academy of natural philosophy the rune will be hidden in the sewer that spills out into the river silent sabotage a bribed worker will disconnect the security on the refinery valves using the valves will not sound the alarm i like how there's little bits of flavor text with each favor Right, like there's there's a person, it's a worker or whatever overheard the thing in the safe and is going to scribble the code on the wall. It's like, there's a little bit of flavor to it. Um, definitely sleep darts, of course. Let's max those out. These are for doing damage, not too interested in that. Grenades, eh. Choked us, it's a non-lethal grenade, but we start out with three, I think that's enough. Rewire tool allows you to rewire circuitry and turn security systems to your advantage. They're consumed. We all have we have none of them right now, so I think that's really important. Maybe three. We start out with a couple elixirs for health and mana. I'll buy an extra of each, maybe. And then let's get some upgrades. Wrist bow accuracy? Wrist bow bolts travel faster, farther. When it says wrist bow bolts, it's not just talking about literally the thing called wrist bow bolt, right? Like it would include sleep dart too? I would assume so. Start the mission. As a result of your bribe, the alarm system has been disabled and there will be no alert if you begin turning on pressure valves in the refinery area. 
Bundry Rothwild is a ruthless businessman who owns a slaughterhouse and a fleet of whaling ships, including a ship called the Delilah. Infiltrate the Rothwild slaughterhouse and find out what's behind the name. Yeah, so we got a couple favor quests because of the things we got. The safe thing and the rune. And then the main quest. Enter the slaughterhouse. Dowd, you're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. So 100% the first thing I'm spending this on is agility. Um, level 1, jump height is increased and falling damage is reduced. Let me just show you. This is how far we can jump without it. That's it. And with it... Yeah, it's like four times as much height. It's so much better. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die. Ah, right. The void gaze is an ability we have. Helps you locate bone charms and runes. And it can be upgraded. Yeah, you can see the rune on the hand is lighting up when we're pointing at a rune or anything like that. Help us locate it. Oh, I can actually see it. Um, whoops. You can see it kind of pulsing there. Very, very tiny. But we're probably going to want to blink most of the time. I think I want to take out that civilian. I don't know if I need to. They might freak out if they see me. So I probably should. So we have reduced fall damage, so we should be fine doing that. Yeah. How did it pass me by? All the others down with the sickness. <sighs> non lethal, of course. They'll be fine. Go sleep by the stairs. Are they covered in blood? Why are they- Jesus Christ, why are they covered in blood? They're unconscious, they're not dead, we didn't stab them. Okay. That's disturbing. Hey rat friends. I know rats carry the plague in the city. So they're really not friends, but I, I don't know. They're friends until they try to bite me. I want to test something. Do I have to press space after I go to this like ledge grab or does it automatically grab? Automatically grabs. Sleep. Rat poison. We need to rid the sewer of the rat infestation. Make sure you set this crate of potted meat aside so we can lace it with rat poison. 
After it's poisoned, take it down to the dock so we can get it into the sewers below. Not sure what to do with that information, but apparently there's poisoned meat somewhere. Whoa. No. I do not want that gun. No, thank you. Guns are not quiet. Yeah, we can throw these things. We can't, like, put them into our inventory, but we can throw them. Just hoping and praying that nobody else is watching us while I choke out these guards, and so far that's worked out. At some point it won't work, though. The Leviathan Sorrow, excerpt from a report on a treatise banned by the Rudshore Trade Council. Little is known of Picotti credited with a series of pamphlets arguing against the whaling trade. While he is gifted, his views are nonsense and threaten the economic underpinnings of the empire. Mm, zero 01. Enslavement. On the breeding and husbanding of whales versus hunting the beasts in the wild after a natural and free life cycle. Picotti offers no solutions for where these massive malevolent creatures might be pastured. Number 2. Dissolution. Laments on the destruction of social bonds between herd members. Picotti actually uses the term families. Jesus Christ. Number three, harmony. Drivel on the aesthetic wonder of what is in reality the great and terrible ocean that ever threatens to swallow us. Includes arguments on the gentle nature of the brutes. A notion refuted by seamen who return to shore wide-eyed with tales of the whale's savagery. Number four disruption. Here Picotti is on his weakest footing, issuing up feverish warnings against the displa displacement or transference of natural beasts from their native environments. Ah, oh, Picotti, you are ahead of your time. So that thing will shock me if I get near, but I can take the battery out over there. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh god, I didn't think it had that much of a range. I also didn't think I would slip down the roof. Uh, yeah, we have this wheel too to select from abilities and stuff. good. Send us food, not bullets. Oh, 
Oh, those are plague victims, aren't they? There's like a potion or something down there. I don't know if I should go down there. I don't remember if we're like immune to the plague or what. Like, do we have to worry about getting infected? Hemlock essence. So much verticality. I could go up there on that AC. Yeah, we don't have much range on our blink yet, but we'll get <clears throat> we'll get more range. Oh, they're also covered in blood. Look at them. Looks like I've just massacred them. But they're fine. They're just sleeping. Look at that neck. Oh, so stuff like the processed whale oil. It's not like it's a crafting ingredient or anything. It just directly gets converted into money. I like that. It saves us the mess and fuss of doing tons of inventory management. Wish I had something to throw. Oh, there's a guard up there. I don't think they'll see me, though. They're pretty far away. Um... When does the oil start to flow? Attention. Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. Somebody else notice? Hurt swords. Hmm. So yeah, I think... I could probably disable that from that box there, maybe using one of those override thingies, but I could also just go over using that. This is a reminder that collective bargaining in any industry deemed vital to the state is a... <laughs> Unionizing is illegal. These include metallurgy, whale collection and refinement, security services, and selected legal and clerical specializations. Consult the city... A page torn from an old manuscript written in a scrawling hand. The portside eye of whale newly dead. Plop it in the pot, grisly and red. Weeper, weeper, weeps no more, laid to rest on blood-etched floor. Do this for me, dearie, and I'll give you a birthday treat. Granny. Granny's a recipe. Granny like Granny Rags? For clarification and Optional. Granny's a recipe, the weeping eyes. Find the ingredients? Ah! They used to tell stories about a woman Jesus. in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rags. They said she was a hundred years old. Thanks for stopping by. Scared the shit out of me. Um. So yeah, what exactly do we need to do? Find the ingredients to complete Granny's recipe. watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, 
I'd suggest he's up to no good. This is a public warning. Corvo Atano, the assassin and one-time royal protector, has escaped from confinement and is at large within the city. Any sightings of this state criminal must be reported to the city watch at once. Wasn't there a person on this walkway? Excerpt from a butcher's journal. Leona looks worried when I come home at night. She's looking for that spark. Our love. The life we had just two years ago. All our ambitions. But the more she pulls at me, the more I resent her. The more I bury all that. When her father was killed at the carriage station, I gave up my studies at the Academy of Natural Philosophy. So mismanaged were their finances, with so many debts in arrears? I'm not sure what that means. That her mother and younger brothers would have been ruined had I not. My work feeds us all and keeps the rent paid to that shriveled old leech Wainwright. I hate this work, but in the time of plague it takes all one's efforts to stay afloat of the desperation, the blood and the rats. There are bribes that must be paid to the Lord Regent's city watch, and Barrister Arnold Tim's Tim's Shus dead counters. Tim Sh I can't pronounce that. Tim Shus. Uh, offend the wrong bureaucrat, and your home is seized, and you're off to the flooded district. So it falls to me. Every day, I drive my screaming saw into the beasts, eyes wide open. I sleep them for years at the academy, and on my trips into the field. Now working in the slaughterhouse, the wrongness is like a wound in my head. The first months I worked in a numb state. Then my predominant mood was anger. Now the wound is scabbing over, and on some days I feel a kind of power. My entire existence is meat. All there is in my mind is meat, death, bones, and song. The terrifying songs. They come to me in my sleep now. I look into the great eye as I take away life slowly. There's a kind of deep connection with the beast, knowing I'll be coming back again and again, removing pieces for hours, sometimes days. They sing for us, a funeral lament that causes me to tremble. Leona and I still share a bed, but the more she tries to make me feel something, the more I recede. The person I was is dead now. Damn, that hits hard. skin, your max health has been slightly increased. Yeah, it takes a rewire tool to use these things. We don't need to use it. Although we can also just take out the battery, can't we? I think rewire is more for making it um, respond to my enemies, reversing it to work for me, whereas taking the battery out is just to disable the whole thing. Not that I need to do this, but... Oh god! I was wondering whether the thing exploded or what. Wanted for the most heinous murder of our fair Empress Jessamine Caldwin, Corvo Atano. 
30,000 coins, that's a big reward. Missing or damaged time cards will no longer be replaced due to abuse of this indulgence. Any worker without a time card will be denied admission to the grounds and summarily terminated. None of this would have gotten so bad if fool Corvo hadn't killed the Empress. Something I can use? Some sort of like filling station. Like crack at this guy. <clears throat> I think the only one up here. Tank refill pump. Yeah, we don't have any need of that. Alright, safe code's over there. Where's the sewer thing? The rune that's supposed to be at the sewer. Is there not a marker for that? The rune under the slaughterhouse. A maintenance tunnel inside the slaughterhouse. Oh, from inside. So we're not going to find it out here. Abigail Ames has been detained. So these I could fill up, but I don't really have a reason to, right? Another guard in there. Oh, there's a guard in there too. I think there's three guards down here. you go. Uh, good enough, I guess. Not really. Blueprint. Collect blueprints to unlock new upgrades and equipment at the start of the next mission. Cool. Place this mine nearly anywhere. When triggered, it will deliver a powerful electric charge, reducing the target to ash. Okay, so that's lethal. Laborer lockup key. Arc mine shipment. Mr. Rothwild, I have great appreciation for the use of your space and your whales in the advance of my studies. All of Dunwall will be in your debt for your contribution to my work. In light of your recent difficulties, 
I have prepared for you a gift of my latest defensive technology, the Arc Mine. It's based on my Arc Pylon and will provide superb protection against intruders and those who'd interfere with our efforts. I'm certain the device will serve you well. Anton Sokolov. Sokolov, you little bastard. Letter, uh, a letter excerpted from a book on members of the City Watch assigned to the Renhaven River. Dearest Rutherford, your latest writing brought me a mix of sadness and delight. I was sorry to hear of the passing of your friend Corcoran from Morley. He was undoubtedly a good man and a worthy ally in your work with the City Watch in Dunwall. I know that the river patrol is a difficult assignment, especially during these times, but it's important work. So given all that you've told me, I can only assume Corcoran was as brave as you are, my younger brother. It saddens me that such a vile organization as the Dead Eels even exists outside the realm of those lurid gothic novels we read as school children. That you and your men should have to face them out on the waters of the Renhaven is just terrifying. Boats must be checked, I know, I know. But if you should be harmed while ensuring some Tivian fur trader is carrying the correct tax papers, I will never forgive this new Lord Regent and his flurry of laws. You talked of adventure when you signed on, and danger seems to excite you, but you'll forgive me if I hope to see your patrol transferred further west, nearer to Caldwin's Bridge where the military presence is stronger and the smuggling gangs fear to ply their wicked trade. I've gathered this much from the newspapers, but perhaps there's nowhere safe in Dunwall right now, certainly along the river. It pains me to imagine the customs crew at the checkpoints near your patrol being so short-handed. My mind reels at the thought of how anything else can take priority over my brother's life. I tell you what I wouldn't give to be in charge of allocating the security details. You'd have a hundred men at your call, but I know that is impractical. Please write again when you can. All of us look forward to your words, and I often share them after dinner with our friends and those visiting us here in Driscoll. May our next letter bring news of the eradication of uh, or imprisonment of Lizzie Stride and her cursed dead eels. Stay safe and remember us always. Your sister, Pearl. I really like the notes. They're really well written. They're really interesting and they tell me a lot about the politics and the goings on in this world. And how people are dealing with it. Ooh, I don't... Uh, I'm scared I'm getting too close to that thing. <laughs> Pylon control box key. Don't explode! <laughs> Uh-oh. Eventually. You ain't leaving this place alive. Oh wow. Sneaking around. You're just making things. Oh. Probably better if I just do that, huh? Harpooner songs. Excerpt from a book of sea shanties sung by sailors. Uh, I don't think I need to read this. An 
enemy of the state and will be punished accordingly. Do not waste your loyalty. Sewer gate control. So this is the thing we can use because we've um, paid off one of the workers and it won't cause an alarm, right? I'm not exactly sure where that happened, but it shouldn't be too hard to find it. We can't swim, right? I don't think we can swim. Ah, yeah, it's just down there. Attention. Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. Sounds like there's somebody... Somebody up here. Yeah, this is just back there. Damn fool Corvo hadn't killed the Empress. Aha! Oh, is this the thing where the combination's written on the wall? No, it's not. That's a totally separate one. Unless it's just not anywhere near the safe, but I think it said it was right next to it. After this morning, we're taking away time cards on sight. Nobody gets in or out without those things. Time to send a message. Hmm. Not really sure I need that map, actually. It's a nice map, though. Slaughterhouse Row, excerpt from a book on Dunwall City Districts. For more than two decades, a small number of slaughterhouses sat along the Renhaven, out away from the finer quarters of Dunwall due to the blood, rats, and stench associated with the processing uh, meat. Independent whaling ships brought in the occasional leviathan, and barges delivered herds of blood oxen. An individual slaughterhouse might fold due to mismanagement, but the number stayed roughly the same, producing the meat, leather, and grease byproducts needed across the capital city. Only when the roseberry processing treatment was discovered did the whaling trade begin to rise in prominence. Driven by the many new uses for the much more volatile refined whale oil, including military and security uses. Early into Empress Jessamine Caldwin's brief reign, the well-known inventor and natural philosopher Anton Sokolov introduced a series of devices that would begin to see deployment across Dunwall, directed by the royal spy master Hiram, Hiram Burroughs, Burroughs, rather. With this lucrative turn of events, the number of slaughterhouses quadrupled and the demand for fresh whales increased proportionately. Many districts immediately adjacent to what was suddenly known as Slaughterhouse Row began to change as families moved away to avoid the industrial fumes and awful runoff produced by the processing plants. Crime grew overnight, forcing the city watch to redouble its efforts against Dunwall's gangs. So we do not know the combination. We do know the combination, maybe. <laughs> Wait, no, that can't be right. There's only three numbers, right? Yeah, there's only three numbers. So that's just a coincidence, right? It is kind of a weird coincidence, but I think it is just like a serial number for the box.
Would it be super close by, you think? Like, in this very room? Scribbled on the map? No. Hmm. Vital to the state is a capital offense. These include metallurgy, whale collection and refinement, security services, and selected legal and clerical specializations. Consult the city barrister for clarification and enforcement. Oh, that's a lot of rats. Are they going to try to attack me? Huh? Fuck. Yeah, okay, they're not friends, I have to admit. Most rats are friends, those are not. Falling star, drop assassinating someone gives you a bit of mana. Let's enter. Rockwild's got a stubborn reputation. Find out asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna go try to find Rothwild.